Hey, if you've been wondering what it's like down by the Portland waterfront, then this video is for you. I'm Matt DeShane. And I'm Mike Weissman. And we're working hard to be the number one realtors in Portland. And this video channel is everything about living, working, and playing in the real Portland, Maine. All right, so we are right now uh, just off the shore here of the Portland waterfront. And so Matt, to give us a little uh, um, overview of where we're at and what's going on. Right, we're on the water here. Um, Portland is unique because it has a working waterfront. Right. Uh, it's got lobster boats, scallop boats, you know, people going in and out, water taxis, the yep. sea tow boats. So it's kind of fun to watch all the activity uh, and it makes Portland, you know, be genuine in the fact that there's still uh, waterfront activity going on here. It's not just complete tourist commercialization. That's right. It's one of the few cities really in the Northeast where you have this, what you call a working waterfront, right? Where you're really looking right here now at commercial fishermen. Um, some of these piers right here, um, you can walk right up and buy your fish. Yeah, exactly. That boats park in the back, you buy the fish out the front. Yep. And behind us here, you got the tall ships, uh, which go out. You can get a sale on the tall ship. They go out pretty much every day throughout the uh, throughout the summer. What you're seeing now behind us is called Main State Pier. Now, like Mike said, uh, those ships take go out on tours. Mm -hmm. uh, that yellow and white boat behind me, that's one of the ferries that goes out daily to the islands. It serves seven different islands. Okay. Uh, the most popular is Peaks. I think that it goes out every half hour, 45 minutes. Right. And then the other islands, uh, it'll visit at least a couple times a day, at least to drop off mail. Right behind us now uh, in Portland Harbor here is a replica of the Santa Maria that Columbus came on uh, from Spain. So Matt, tell us about what's going on. Yeah, Portland's got a great history of uh, tall ships and unique boats coming to visit for us to come and take tours of. This sailed in just a few days ago. For $10, you can take a tour and, and see what the boat looks like from the inside. Yeah, amazing. All right, so now we are actually in front of the area where the cruise ships come into the harbor in Portland. So Matt, give us a little overview of where we're at and what's going on here. This is Ocean Gateway right behind us. Uh, you could park two huge cruise ships uh, side by side here. So it's yep. quite the sight to see uh, when they're here Birth, you could be on this side of town by the back cove and see the tails of the cruise ships rise over the city. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, and yeah. you know, the city fills right up with thousands of people when they visit, so it's always a fun atmosphere. Yep, it's really cool that Portland can take on, you know, two full size cruise ships. You're talking how many people on a cruise ship? Maybe. I think 2,500, yeah. you know, 2,000, 2,500 per yeah. cruise ship that yeah. debark. Yeah, really cool. All right, let's go on to our next, uh, next spot out here in Casco Bay. All right, so right now we are off the coast of South Portland, right in front of Willard Beach. So Matt, tell us a little bit about where we are. Willard Beach is in South Portland and is home to Southern Maine Community College. It sits right here. Uh, it's a great spot to come, you know, on a nice hot summer day. They got a parking lot up there. They have a snack bar, bathroom facilities. Uh, they do allow dogs during certain hours and times of the year. So if you want to come out here and play fetch with your dog, yeah. it's a great place to come check out. Awesome. And um, tell us a little bit about the, the houses that you see along the coast here. So Willard Beach has a lot of cool little, you know, summer cottages styles right. that are right along it. Right. Uh, and then as you go southern along the coast, more towards Cape Elizabeth, you right. start getting those dramatic, you know, palatial houses that sit all, up on the coast right. or cool. up on the ledge. All right, so behind us here is Peaks Island, which is an island out in the harbor just off of Portland. So Matt, tell us a little bit about Peaks Island, where we are and what's going on. Yeah, Peaks Island is part of Portland. So if you live out here, you know, you pay taxes to the city, you get yep. services from the city. Right. It has an elementary school on there. Okay. Uh, police station, fire services, right. Civil War Museum, okay. an umbrella museum. Right. So it's an interesting little place to check out. Excellent. Tell us about how we get back and forth. How did residents uh, get back and forth to the mainland? Primary way is the Casco Bay Ferry. Okay. Uh, it's $7 round trip, seven fifty dollars per for a pedestrian right uh, and then if you pay you know depending on the size of your vehicle you can put your vehicle on too and right. take that
that back and forth. Right, we're, we're, we're right in front of the ferry terminal right here, in fact, right? Yeah, and it comes in at 12 times a day back and forth. Excellent. Weather permitting, of course. Yeah. yeah. The, the biggest storms, it might stay home, but... Excellent. <laughs> All right, well, Peak Sound, a great place to think about if you're looking for coastal property, waterfront property. Great place to look out on the islands here in Portland. And we have a guide that you can download under this. I'll put a link below the video. A guide to the Casco Bay waterfront properties. If you have uh, an interest in that, check it out. All right, so right now we are just off the coast of Little Diamond Island, which is right off opposite uh, East Portland, the East End of Portland. So Matt, tell us a little bit, little bit about where we are and what's going on here. Yeah, as you head out from uh, Portland Harbor here and you're going out towards the open ocean, yeah. Little Diamond Island is one of the first ones you hit just beyond Fort Gorges. Right. Behind it is Great Diamond Island, okay. and it continues so on and so forth all the way up through the you know, Casco Bay. Right. How, how many islands actually are there out here? So in Casco Bay, there's 136. Wow. Okay. That's recognized by the Coast Guard. Okay. And uh, not all of them inhabited, clearly. <laughs> no, and a lot of them are either state parks or bird sanctuaries. So, right, right. No, you know, there's a lot less of them that actually have houses. Excellent. And um, I think we know something about how Little Diamond get its, got its name. Yeah, so the two islands here, Little Diamond and Great, I uh, Great Diamond, when the sun shines just right, when it's rising yep. in the morning, right. there's crystalline structures on the cliffs on the side yeah. uh, that shine like diamonds in the sun, and so hence Little Diamond and Great Diamond. Great, awesome. All right, so behind us here is a real landmark out in Portland Harbor, that's Fort Gorges. So Matt, tell us a little bit about what's behind us and Fort Gorges. Fort Gorges is pretty cool. It was built back in uh, in response to the War of 1812. Okay. They thought they might as well protect Portland Harbor. Yep. They didn't really work on it too quickly. Right. By the time the Civil War broke out in the 1860s, they thought we might as well, you know, really finish this off and protect yep. the harbor. Yep. So it turns out, even though they built this fort to protect Portland, right. uh, the technology came quicker than they built the fort and by the time they finished it was actually uh, obsolete yeah. because of you know the explosives and guns would have just blown it away right so no, there was never actually a battle or any troops ever stationed out there none at all nope. so now it's just a national park right you know you can go check it out right you have to find your own means there okay there's no direct access ferry or anything but yep. you can rent a kayak right off the east end okay and you can just zip right over the ocean and check it out all right what a great great portland landmark yeah all right excellent So there you have it, a great quick tour of Portland's waterfront and Portland Harbor. Yeah, thanks for joining us. We're working hard to be Portland's number one realtors. Uh, we love to share this city with anybody that wants to see it. So give us a call, reach out. We'd love to share it with you too. That's right. So DM us, message us, post a comment here. Uh, any questions, you know, reach out to us. And remember, we are making new videos every week about what it's like to live, work, and play in the real Portland, Maine. So subscribe, click the little bell, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. We want to give a shout out today to our skipper on the water today, Elliot Colby, who's taking us out on the water. So Matt, tell us about Elliot. Yeah, <laughs> Elliot, he's a great guy. He works for a home-based mortgage group and decided to take us out so we could get some shots of uh, Portland Harbor here to share with all you guys. So. Yeah. Say hi, Elliot. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> All right, so you guys need a mortgage, you know who to call. Elliot Colby, he's your guy for mortgages. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> next time.